So I changed the definition of risk. I took a risk and I spelled confidence with a K. <laughs> Reviving inner self-confidence. That's what you're doing. If you think about it, when you take a risk, you are reviving the person, a little kid that said, I want to be Superman, Wonder Woman, Coyote, I want to be a lawyer, a doctor, a dentist, and a painter. Remember when you were a kid, you thought you could do all of that in the same office at the same time? That's who you're reviving. I have a picture of a chess set there because when my daughter turned nine, she wanted a chess set. I taught her fourth grade class how to play chess. And what I found was that the little girls were very safe. They took their pawns and they moved them one at a time and they didn't want to beat their friends because they wanted their friends to like them. And the little boys came out, if they could have moved the Kings seven steps, they would have. They're just very, very, very aggressive, aggressive players. By the end of the school year, the one little girl who, who wouldn't do anything won the chess competition because she was a silent storm. So if you don't have a chess game, go to Target, get you one for about $14.99. Get it on your phone. If you have a, a smartphone, get the app. And start playing chess with someone every day. Because what it's going to show you is the kind of person you are, not the person you're playing. Chess is up here. Because when I used to play with my daughter, she loved the rooks and she loved the bishops. Why? Because they get to go everywhere on the board. So guess what a wonderful, loving parent I am. The first four pieces I took were her rooks and her bishops. Because what are your rooks and your bishops? Your car, mm -hmm. your house, that nice little cushy 401 you got you think it's going to be there for you? Yeah, oh no, I'm good. Let those rooks and knights be taken away from you. Now who are you? When you got a bunch of pawns and the, the knight that moves in the L shape, you got to figure out how to get that queen on the other side. Me, I like the pawns. Want to know why? Because it doesn't matter what piece my daughter takes. The pawn is the only piece that gets promoted. She can take my queen, my rook, my bishop, I'm going to go right across to the end of the board and get it back and be more powerful because now I have overcome the fact that she took my good pieces. But don't, play, don't try to play because I'll use everything to get you. Okay, I'm very competitive. <laughs> what is your rook and your bishop? What's causing you not to be able to use the other 15 pieces that you have left on the board? And better yet, what is your king? What, is, what are you protecting? What is, what is around you that's saying, oh my goodness, if my king goes away, I'm going to die? No, you know, they go, clear, pop. What's the king in your business? That if that goes away, which, what can you do? Think of Colonel Sanders. I mean, 62 years old, most people are on their way out.